Good morning. This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Maker Monday. We are doing something different today. I'm making Christmas clusters and we'll see how this goes. Before I get started, I do want to remind everybody who lives in the United States that tomorrow is Election Day. And please make sure you are getting out and voting. You don't have the right to complain about the election results if you haven't gotten out and done the voting to begin with. So I am a firm believer in complaining about how things went. It's one of my favorite things to do, but I think it's important that I have voted to begin with. So make sure you are out there doing your voting and your civic duty. All right, that's enough for my civics lecture for today. Today I'm making clusters, and um, this is one that I made a while back, last week, you know, a long time ago, and uh, I really liked how it came out, so I thought I would start to do a couple more clusters of sorts today. I think I'm actually going to start with a smaller piece, and for as far as materials go, I don't have a whole lot. I do think I want to rip that down a little bit and make that kind of an edge. One of those ripped kind of raggedy edges on this piece. Um, I was planning to use this for my base. We'll see. Oh, where's my thing? There it is. So I have all of these little pieces left over from other Christmas projects that I thought might make Nice pieces to the cluster. I'm hoping I have enough light here because I had to put my shade down. Believe it or not, the sun finally came out here, which is absolutely wonderful. I have a couple of stickers here that I can use. Those are, but they're way too large for that. For, um, what's the word I want? I can use them as focal points. I can also cut out this little candy cane, which was a piece of an envelope of junk mail. It was a very nicely decorated piece of junk mail. And I cut out the candy cane thinking, oh, I'll find a use for that. And I think I'm going to find a use for that today. So I this is actually take three on this video. I have, I did one last night. Didn't like it. Sorry, it was just boring. So I got rid of it. And then I did one this morning and my camera moved partway through it. And I thought, really, this is just misbehaving all over the place. Kind of like that. Okay, and then maybe with a piece behind it. Where's that? I do like the jagged edge on that. I don't like that color. So these are just a few extra pieces that I have. I also have an entire box of them here. All these strips. Ooh, I like that one. That would be nice. Okay, let's glue this one down. I have made a bit of a mess here. Uh, by the time you see this, I'm doing this uh, a full week ahead of time because um, my husband and I are going to Evanston, Illinois this weekend, or will have gone this past weekend by the time you see this. And um, he is a playwright as well as a theater director. He has just recently gotten into playwriting, recently as in the past couple of years. And one of the plays that he wrote called Women of a Certain Age is 
being performed by an organization up there as part of what they call the Old Lady Project. And they're doing a reading of his play this weekend, and I'm very excited. Okay, I think we'll cut that right here. Get the whole scroll on there. There, and that makes a nice little cluster. So I'm just using up scraps at this point. Hang on, I want to cover up that December 3rd. There, there's one cluster. I know that some people do this and they have a kind of a mass make way of doing it. I don't really. I'm just kind of going through and doing them. I do want to do one that's a little bit wider because I want to use one of those stamps. So let me cover up my glue, get out my distress ink, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Those edges up quick. And for the moment, I'm going to leave the other edges because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I've got the deck the halls that kind of shows, I, it doesn't actually say deck the halls because it's kind of hard to see it, but I like it. And what else do I have here? Um, no, I don't like that. I have a little bit of this. I know, nope, wrong color. You know, you find what you got. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have just this little strip. Nope. I think we're just going to go like that. And I know what I need. Hang on. I got them. Let me grab my bin of tickets. Now it says July. July is the wrong time of year. Let's see what we've got here. We could just put a little ticket down here. There we go. That's not so bad. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting things on here. I did not do this side because I wasn't sure if I was going to rip it or not. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, if you hear a lawnmower, that is our, uh, the, we live across the street from a park, and I've said it before, probably will say it a lot more often, it was a great park when the kids were little, because it was right across the street, the park, the kids are big, and that park is still across the street, so it gets to be a little annoying when he's out there mowing. Normally they mow on Mondays and Thursdays. Yes, twice a week. Same grass, same park. This morning he was out there, oh my glory, with a one of those blowers blowing leaves. Although I'm not sure to what end because he kind of blew them down the hill and then there they sit. And now he's out with the mower. So I don't know. Is he planning to mulch them? I don't know what he's doing over there. He's just making a lot of noise. It's a very noisy park. It is not one of those quiet, restful parks. It is very noisy. There's a playground there. And I never minded the playground. But one of the things we've discovered is that parents just let their kids scream at the top of their lungs and when I was, when we first moved in here, I used to run out of the house thinking those kids were in trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course they never are. They're just screaming. And I would tell the parents, you know, don't let your kids scream because then those of us who don't know, we think that they're in trouble. And so, no, it was just, okay. I like that. I like the fact that Deck the Halls shines through there. Okay, that's two done. I did see in here, I have this somewhat larger piece, and I have another larger piece here. 
So let's see what we can do with these. I don't know about that one. Let me deal with this one. one at a time. I'm not good at doing this more than one at a time. I like this. I might put that behind it. And then something in front. Because this, again, that's cut out of the same as I did, the same envelope that I cut the candy cane out of. I cut the Christmas tree out of. But you can see it's just, hmm, I don't know if I like that or not. Kind of like that on it. But if I do the Christmas tree behind it, does that cover it up too much? See, I second guess everything. This is my problem. I I am not a good with collage. And I like what Carrie the Crafter says. The only way to become good at collage is to collage. You're not going to become good at just looking at it and just watching videos. You've got to actually do it in order to see, you know, to, to figure out how to how it works. So that's what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm not very good at it. I'm going to stick with the tree and we're going to put the tree down here. Okay. So let's put the tree here. Let's cover it up with some glue and then we're just going to stick it here. And I don't, I kind of want it at an angle there. Now where'd that sticker go? Except now I need something behind it because otherwise that sticker is not going to stick right to it. Unless I don't use that sticker. don't necessarily need to use that sticker. I can find a different um, focal point. I'm looking at some of these here. Saturday matinee, five cents. I remember my dad used to talk about it being uh, a dime. He used to go to the movie theaters and it was a dime. I kind of like that. Where's that piece? Oh, we're just playing. So this is Maker Monday. I realize that. Um, and we're just making clusters today. And for me, making clusters is not a mass make kind of an idea. I know that there are those out there who do mass makes and more power to them, but I just can't seem to think that way. There we go. I think I found what I want to put on there. Let's cut one of these B Marys off this strip. It's got just a little bit of when I cut this out of whatever it was I was cutting it out of, I didn't quite get it down right. Still missed a piece. There. I need to change over my glue page. It's getting... In fact, I don't think I got much glue on that at all. There we go. Okay, that's kind of odd. So we've done two of them. They're very odd. But that's really what a cluster is. Because this will go onto a page. You now you take a page and it could go on there. Now this one would probably end up being, it could actually be even a cover. It could go on a cover. And that could go like a belly band or it could just be a piece of collage can be used a lot of different ways. I set those two aside. Where was that long piece? I want that long piece. And I have some cool, let's put those over the top of it. It's 
sorry, I'm not very talkative. I, I don't mean to not be talkative today. Um, like I said, I have made this video twice. The first time it was just, it was just was dull. It wasn't what I would have wanted. And the second time I hit my camera part way through. And so all of a sudden you're looking at the top part of my desk and not down here at all. And you can't see anything that I'm doing. I was not happy when I, I, cause I didn't, couldn't, didn't catch it immediately. So, um, do I want to stick that on something? I have this other piece here. I can just kind of add that in there or do I want to just, yeah, I think I can just break that down a little bit. And just right up along the edge. And give that a little bit more of a backing. Oh, not very level there. Let's try the, there we go. That's a little bit better. And I have, what do I have? I have an owl. I could put an owl on there. I could put those guys on there. Nope, I don't like either one of them. I think we won't put either one of those on there. I also have a Santa sticker here. I could put Santa down in the corner. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on. We're coming. We're thinking. I have these washies. Um... Okay, I like the Happy Holidays, so we're going to cut Happy Holidays out of here. And then we're going to try and get it off the backing, which is actually pretty easy with this one. I will stick a little bit of glue on it. We're going to put Happy Holidays up here. We're going to take Santa. Obviously this particular... Oh, shoot. We just lost Santa's hat. Well, hang on. We might be okay. I hope we're going to be okay. This top ripped. Let me grab my tweezers for this part. There we go. Okay, Santa has his hat back. But now we need to put something over the top of it all. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't been saving these. I wonder if I should. Okay, we're going to let you sit for now. And then, but you need, you still need something in the middle. You need something right here. Okay, we'll let you sit for a bit. All right, what else do I have here as far as backings? Oh, I have this one. I pulled this out. This says Christmas plum pudding, and it's a whole um, recipe for Christmas plum pudding. And I, I, I don't know. I guess it's all right. I've never made plum pudding. Um... But it looks like pack in bowls or tie in cloths or paper and steam four hours. So I think that's pretty much all the directions that for a Christmas plum pudding. I don't know that I would ever like it. I, I've never had a, a plum pudding. Isn't that terrible? I've never had plum pudding. Okay, that says let it, ooh, that says let it snow. Do I like let it snow better? Nope, I don't. Okay, so I have this. And I could certainly put that along it. The problem is, I've, 
I always think I want to just keep that as a journal card because I just kind of like it. I don't know that I want to do too much with it. All right, I think I'm just going to set that one aside. We'll go just on to the next. On to the next. Here, you've still got these pieces. Let's finish this up. Let's do something with this one. Yeah, so we're going to Chicago, or we will have, like I said, by the time you see this, we'll be back home from Chicago. And um, I'm very excited because we did a production of Women of a Certain Age last year, right around this time. And I played the part of Ruth. So I originated the role of Ruth, which really wasn't that big of a stretch because Ruth was pretty much me. My husband is an excellent observer of life and he wrote this play basically because there were a bunch of us who were complaining that there were no good parts for older women pretty much all the older women parts were somebody's best friend the great aunt a grandmother um there really wasn't a lot of parts for us as us just, you know, women sitting around talking. There just wasn't a lot of it. And so he, we, he said, well, you know what, maybe I'll write one. And I said, sure, go ahead, have a good time, see if you can write one. And he did. And it came out really well. Um, and I liked it a lot. So did a lot of other people. And so it has really... Uh, we've it, it has enjoyed some local success, and now it's starting to enjoy some national success. There was a reading of it in Cumberland, Maryland, um, back in the spring. A company down there did a, a play reading type thing of it. That's what again what this one will be. It will be a play reading type of a of a venture, and then. Um, next February, there's a group in, oh, I think it's Michigan. It might be Michigan. It might be Minnesota. I'm sorry. I don't remember. They're doing a full-fledged production. They're putting it on its feet. They're doing the whole thing. That'll be cool. That's too much. But I kind of like that. So I'm very proud of him. He's written several plays. He's got another uh, reading of plays coming out in I'm not sure, November. Uh, some one acts that he's done. There's a company up in Pulteneyville, New York, that is doing some of those. Doing his one acts. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. This wrapper is from a Harry and David um, a dark, dark chocolate truffle. And it was really good. I don't know if the glue stick is going to work on this, though. So we're going to try it. And if it doesn't, I'll grab the Fabri-Tac and go from there. But let's see if we can get this to stick. We need to close this up because this is, that's not sticking. No, not even a little bit. Let's get out the Fabri-Tac and we'll see if this will stick. Come on. I need to get more Fabri-Tac. I am just about out. This is my last bottle of it. And... I go through it like crazy. There we go. Let's hold that down a minute. Become pretty adept at holding things down with one hand and putting tops on with the other. Yeah, I think that's going to stick. That's going to be fine. 
So there we go. We have made four tags in the space of, what is this, 20 minutes? Um, I forgot to put my timer on, so I don't know how long we've been at this. But it hasn't been that long. And on this Maker Monday, we have made a couple of Christmas clusters, all in a similar style and similar piece. Some of these are going to a friend, some I will be keeping. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you do so. We are very close. I think I'm four people away from 100 subscribers and giving away a journal. With any luck, by the time you watch this, we will have hit 100, and my next video will be giving away that journal. We can only hope. Make sure you vote tomorrow, and have a wonderful day. And this is Cindy signing off.